Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. During the call, they discussed the fraternal bilateral relations and ways to support and develop them in the future to continue advancing cooperation to achieve common goals and aspirations. Regional and international developments of common interest and ways to coordinate common stances were also discussed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. In its 20th edition, His Royal Highness stressed that this achievement comes thanks to the continuous support of His Majesty the King to ensure that the kingdom is always in a position of leadership and distinction at every level. His Royal Highness pointed out that His Majesty's insightful visions and aspirations always contribute to accomplishing many successes for Bahrain through the outstanding efforts of its people, which support the goals of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King's support, which has had a profound impact on the latest achievements. He recalled with appreciation the efforts of those who have been responsible for the success of Formula One races over the past 20 years, who were inspired by the directors of His Majesty the King to continue the process of work and achievements. His Royal Highness pledged to continue giving and moving forward with determination so that the world can see the bright image of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King as it achieves further successes. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty lasting good health and happiness and wished the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable to His Royal Highness in which His Majesty expressed his deep thanks and sincere appreciation for His Royal Highness. His Majesty expressed his sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness for the outstanding results achieved by the race and is the result of the sincere and tireless efforts of His Royal Highness and the accompanying team in order to achieve the best results in organizing the race which has strengthened Bahrain's position at the local and international levels. His Majesty the King wished His Royal Highness good health and happiness and wished more accomplishments for the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the remarkable success achieved by the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Highness highlighted the great success achieved by the race, which was organized at the highest levels at the Bahrain International Circuit under His Majesty's patronage, and was followed by millions of motorsports fans inside and outside the kingdom. His Highness also praised the efforts exerted and the continuous follow-up by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which had a great impact in highlighting this global event over 20 years, in which it achieved economic, sports and media gains. He wished His Majesty abundant health and to the Kingdom further progress and prosperity under his prosperous era. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the success of the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Highness asserted that the success of this major international sporting event came thanks to the generous support of His Majesty the King, which reflected the high status of Bahrain among the countries of the world. He also affirmed the competence of the Kingdom in organizing this international sporting event with the cooperation of its people, and that this success adds a new achievement to the Kingdom's record under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. His Highness wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness, as well as continued success in bringing about more achievements to the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the special representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the success of the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Highness asserted that the success of this major international sporting event came thanks to the generous support of His Majesty the King, which reflected the highest status of Bahrain among the countries of the world. His Highness also affirmed the competence of the Kingdom in organizing this international sporting event with the cooperation of its people, and that this success adds a new achievement to the Kingdom's record under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. His Highness wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness, as well as continued success in bringing about more achievements to the Kingdom. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy of Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the success of the 20th edition of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. He praised the support and guidance of His Majesty the King, which resulted in the success of the global sporting event and promoted the kingdom's global position and added to its record of achievements. He commended the distinguished efforts that contributed to organizing this sporting event, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Executive Council, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, upon His Highness's arrival to Bahrain yesterday. His Royal Highness welcomed His Highness and highlighted the depth of long-standing relations between Bahrain and the UAE. His Royal Highness wished His Highness a pleasant stay in Bahrain. His Highness was also received by the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, along with senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Executive Council, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness affirmed the strength of the long-standing Bahrain-UAE relations, which continue to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness highlighted the joint cooperation between the two countries, noting the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to strengthen the bilateral partnership and achieve common aspirations. His Highness conveyed the greetings of the UAE President and the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum to His Royal Highness and their sincere wishes to the Kingdom and its people for continued progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness also conveyed his greetings to them and expressed his wishes of further progress and prosperity for the people of the UAE. He commended the achievements made by the UAE under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed. He highlighted the UAE's global initiatives that support humanitarian interests and consolidate the values of coexistence, tolerance and cooperation among various peoples. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi in enhancing the growth and development that the UAE has witnessed across various sectors. During the meeting, the latest regional and global developments and issues of common interest were discussed. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness's warm reception and commitment to strengthening cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE, wishing the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix on its 20th anniversary. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's experience in hosting motorsport championships and international sporting events, which has furthered the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed the Kingdom's achievement in successfully hosting the Formula One event and expressed his pride in Team Bahrain's successes and accomplishments in the world of motorsport, particularly the Formula One. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the organizers, volunteers and official authorities at the BIC for their contributions to the success of the Formula One over the past 20 years, which is a testament to the unwavering dedication of Team Bahrain. He extended his best wishes for their ongoing success and noted that the event adds to the Kingdom's series of achievements. His Royal Highness received a book from the BIC Chief Executive Officer, Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the 20th anniversary of Bahrain hosting the Formula One. His Royal Highness commended the book's documentation and Bahrain's successes in hosting Formula One races at the BIC. He also expressed his appreciation for the efforts made in preparing the book. His Royal Highness welcomed senior officials who arrived to the Kingdom to attend the F1. His Royal Highness also toured the track and the pit lane of the BIC to review the preparations ahead of the race. The race was also attended by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nansal bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
The Kingdom of Bahrain has assumed a high position on the global sports map, especially by hosting the Formula One event for 20 years, with the follow-up of and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. More on this report. National achievements continue in light of the comprehensive development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Among the most prominent of these achievements is hosting the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix, which is hosted by the Bahrain International Circuit, the home of motorsports in the Middle East. The Kingdom of Bahrain was able, through this sport, to attract the attention of the whole world, thanks to the ambitious vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which places Bahrain on the global sports map. The ambitious and bright vision of His Royal Highness and his vital role in introducing a sport of a global nature to the kingdom is what made the world await and intensely follow this distinguished sporting event. The efforts of His Royal Highness to develop the sports system achieved impressive results and his unlimited support enhanced the kingdom's status globally. Bahrain's hosting of one of the rounds of the Formula One World Championship placed it among an elite group of countries to form an international system in stimulating economic and tourism growth in the kingdom and in the Arabian Gulf region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the special representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa on the success of the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Highness extended his congratulations on the Kingdom's successful hosting of the event over the last 20 years, which adds to the Kingdom's achievements under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and supported by His Royal Highness. His Highness emphasized that Bahrain's ongoing success in hosting the F1 reflects the Kingdom's position as a major host of international sporting events. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the success of the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix, with this year's event marking the 20th anniversary of Bahrain hosting the race. He commended the Kingdom's success in hosting the race, which reflects Bahrain's capabilities as a major destination of international sporting events. He wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, chaired the second meeting of the eighth session of the SCW. Her Royal Highness affirmed that the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his confidence in the abilities of Bahraini women will be a motivation towards more work in the service of the country and making further achievements in all fields. She stressed that this support constitutes the basic foundation upon which the SCW relies in all current and future plans, programs, and initiatives. Her Royal Highness indicated that the efforts of the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, contributed to preserving the gains of Bahraini women and sustaining their influential contribution to national development. She expressed thanks to all parties and partners in various institutions for supporting the efforts of the SCW, which reflects positively on the status of Bahraini women. She stressed that Bahrain is full of national competencies and are dedicated to and united. She praised the achievements and progress of women in the Kingdom of Bahrain, who play their role as a main element and a partner in supporting the Kingdom's growth and progress. Her Royal Highness pointed out that the Council's efforts have contributed to numerous achievements until Bahraini women became a role model in all countries and an example to follow, which strengthened their role in all paths of the comprehensive development process. She extended her thanks and appreciation to the members of the SCW for the valuable contributions they have made to enrich the Council's work process. She praised their keenness to provide all necessary and constructive contributions that enhance the role of Bahraini women in various fields and at all levels. Her Royal Highness then listened to a briefing about the work priorities of the Council for the current year, in addition to studying the draft national plan for the advancement of Bahraini women 2023-2026 through evaluation and preparation of a proposal for the national plan for the advancement of Bahraini women 2025-2026. The Council took note of the development of the signing of the MOU between the SCW and the Kingdom and the Institute of Public Administration and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the field of administrative development and the developments in the draft joint action strategy for women's affairs in the GCC countries. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, bid farewell to Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Executive Council, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, following a visit to the Kingdom to attend the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. 
His Highness was also seen off by Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and several senior officials. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the winners of the Formula One Red Bull's Max Verstappen and Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez, who came second and in third place, Carlos Sainz of Ferrari. His Highness congratulated the winners, wishing the rest of the teams better luck in the upcoming rounds, praising their participation in the Formula One event on its 28th edition and the high level of com competitiveness they presented. His Highness stressed that the successes achieved by Bahrain in organizing the event over 20 years embody the keenness of the people of Bahrain to achieve everything that would raise the kingdom's status in various forums, in addition to the kingdom's interest in promoting the sport of motor racing in a way that supports the goals of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness noted that the Kingdom is celebrating the 20-year anniversary of its organization of Formula One races this year, noting the capabilities that the Kingdom possesses that have enhanced its competitiveness in hosting these races and its achievement of successes in all races. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the success of Bahrain's hosting the 20th edition of the 2024 Formula One Gulf of Bahrain Grand Prix. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain International Circuit achieved successes that raised Bahrain's global status by hosting Formula One races for 20 years, and it recorded another success this year by attracting over 100,000 visitors. He added that the BIC is a witness to His Majesty's unlimited support for the sports movement, and the project embodies the vision of His Royal Highness, which established the culture of motorsports in Bahrain and the region, and made the kingdom the focus of world attention. His Highness stated that Bahrain proved its excellence in hosting global races and successfully hosted the opening race of the Grand Prix, which reflects the capabilities of the people of Bahrain in hosting major sporting events. He affirmed that the BIC introduced Bahrain to the world in light of the popularity of motorsports and particularly the F1 races, and that its 20-year 20 20 -year success is a source of pride and places the kingdom in a leading position globally. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, affirmed that the success of Bahrain in organizing and holding the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix is the result of the royal vision of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He expressed his sincere congratulations on the occasion of this global achievement, which is added to the record of Bahraini international achievements and strengthens the position of the kingdom and international sports map. Alim Salam praised the efforts and cooperation of all ministries and institutions in preparing and organizing the races and working in the spirit of Team Bahrain, which contributed to benefiting the national economy and supporting the tourism sector. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, congratulated His Majesty the King on the great success achieved by hosting the Formula One races, which is considered a sporting, cultural and economic achievement for the Kingdom. He expressed pride in the successes stories recorded by the Kingdom over the past 20 years. Al Saleh praised the role of the national sports, security and medical staff who contributed to this success. He also congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this regard and stressed that the success affirms Bahrain's global and distinguished presence in motorsport racing. He expressed appreciation for the support and 
and interests of His Royal Highness and praise his keenness to motivate Team Bahrain to exert all efforts and invest in expertise and energies to ensure the high status of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the international sports map. Red Bull's Max Verstappen claimed a magnificent victory in a historic and record-breaking time during the Formula One event. He started from the pole and dominated for 57-lap event, celebrating 20 years of modern classic as the first ever F1 Saturday night race in Bahrain. Verstappen crossed the finish line with a 22-second gap, leading Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez to a sensational 1-2. They were joined on the podium by Carlos Sainz of Ferrari. Verstappen earned his 55th career victory in F1 and second in a row at the home of motorsport in the Middle East. He also clogged the race's fastest lap. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, presented Verstappen his trophy during the podium ceremony. FIA President Mohammed bin Salayim also presented the FIA President's medal to the Red Bull superstar. Gulf Air Chairman Zayed Zayani handed over the trophy to the winning constructors. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, presented Paris his trophy for second place, while FIA Vice President for Sports for MENA and Bahrain Motorsport Federation President Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa awarded Saints his third place trophy. The Kingdom of Bahrain achieved remarkable success in hosting the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix, which consolidates its distinguished position on the regional and international levels in hosting major sporting events. More on this report. A remarkable and honorable success achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain in hosting and organizing the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024. This success comes as confirmation of the distinguished capabilities that the Kingdom and its people have in hosting and organizing international events through joining efforts to contribute to highlighting the cultural image and prestigious status of the Kingdom. This success comes thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which proved that the Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the most important stations in organizing this global sporting event in the Middle East. The Kingdom also celebrated 20 years of making history in motorsport, and the event this year witnessed the attendance of more than 100,000 people, which represents a source of pride in the country's development. The success of organizing the Formula One race comes through a series of successive efforts that affirm the ability of the Ministry of Interior and its leadership in securing and organizing such international events. More on this report. A large crowd from around the world attended the Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix Formula One races to enjoy the event. Bahrain has successfully hosted this global sporting event through its consecutive achievements. In this context, the Ministry of Interior, through all its sectors, is keen to ensure the success of this event by implementing well-planned security measures and providing security services to the spectators at the Bahrain International Circuit. This is my first F1 experience, a great place, first time in Bahrain, loving the place, loving the, the city itself as well, exploring that. I uh, thought I'd uh, get some uh, local um, Bahrain stuff rather than the F1 merchandise and show support for actual Bahrain Grand Prix itself. Uh, I see a lot more excitement overall uh, throughout Bahrain uh, with the 20 years and uh, a lot of people, the crowds are bigger. And uh, it seems like it's going to be a great time. The cars all seem uh, very competitive. So I think it's going to be a great race. Well, I think it's actually a fan fantastic event. It brings really Bahrain into the world. And it, uh, if you see how life uh, bl blossoms up these days, I think it's a fantastic event. Now, I think it's great that the kids can see uh, what uh, the police and fire brigades are using. I think they're very excited. And I think it's good for them to uh, to learn all about the services. Oh, this is great. This is from the ministry, right, of the interior ministry. It's fantastic. And I can see it's especially for the kids. So we are very happy to be here. Yeah, we love Bahrain. So it's a great place to come. The weather's good. The food is great. So it's a special place. It's really cool. The like. They're like, there's all of these activities and everything. And my favorite was the fa Ferris wheel. It's like really cool, don't all the way up and down. But it feels like you're like a police guy, like saving the day. Throughout the race days, the Ministry of Interior exerts its best efforts in terms of security and organization to ensure the success of this major global event. Through its capabilities, Bahrain has proven its ability 
to create a success story that has earned the kingdom a prestigious international status. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Assoumi, praised the Kingdom of Bahrain's successful hosting of the Formula One event. He emphasized the high achievements that motorsport made at the international level, as well as hosting the event for 20 years. He stressed that this success proves the advanced capabilities and infrastructure of the Kingdom. He praised the role of the organizers and all who contributed to its success. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly session where the council approved a draft law on an agreement between Bahrain and the GCC regarding the headquarters of Communications Technical Office in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which aims to strengthen cooperation frameworks with the GCC. The council also approved a draft law on amending laws regarding public health. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa launched the Emirates Zayani Company's power generation station using photovoltaic solar panels with a capacity of 4.7 megawatts and celebrating the 10th anniversary of the company's founding in the presence of the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs Yasser Ahmedan and the Minister of Industry and Commerce Abdullah Fakhro. Upon arrival at the company's headquarters in Head Industrial Area, the Deputy Premier was received by the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Emirates Zayani Company and the Honorary Chairman of Zayani Investments Khalid Zayani and the CEO of the French Emirates Company Alessandro Daza. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed that the private sector is a main partner in Bahrain's implementation of its initiatives and aimed at enhancing environmental security and its commitment to aimed at reducing carbon emissions by 30% by 2035 and reaching carbon neutrality by 2060 to achieve the Kingdom's comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Deputy Premier affirmed the keenness on combating climate change and protecting the environment and resources in accordance with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and the Government Plan 2023-2026 through the sustainability of energy and encouraging investment in sustainable energy. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah noted the diversity of the industrial sector in Bahrain and the directing of capital towards investment in precise and advanced industries. He stated that the partnership between Zayani Investments and the French Emirates Company is the result of the efforts of the Economic Development Board in introducing global companies to the investment opportunities and privileges in Bahrain. Then Zayani pressed the button to signal the operation of the solar energy station. He was also briefed on the progress of the production process in the company's factory specializing in the production of white and compact fused alumina, which is used in scrapers as a basic material in cleaning and polishing ships, building materials and surfaces to be later exported to over 25 countries.
The President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Day Case Unit for Biological Treatments in the Internal Medicine Department at Salmaniya Medical Complex in the presence of the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalil Hassan, and the CEO of Government Hospitals, Dr. Maryam Jalahma. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed affirmed the SCH's keenness to strengthen efforts and follow up on projects that aim to provide high quality health services. He praised the level of modern and advanced medical equipment used in the unit and its role in providing the best health care to patients who need biological medication or antibiotics. The CH president said that the unit aims to provide services in a central day care unit. Dr. Jalahma affirmed that the inauguration of the unit reflects the government hospital's interest in providing the best health services to patients, specifically those with thalassemia, rheumatism, and kidney diseases. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with the Secretary of for Commerce and Economic Development in the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, Al Gurnon Yao, as part of his visit to Bahrain. They reviewed bilateral relations, particularly in the financial and economic fields, and the two sides discussed the means of developing them and a number of topics of common interest. The minister highlighted the development of bilateral relations in various fields, noting the mutual keenness on bolstering cooperation and continuing to build on achievements. The two sides signed an investment promotion and protection agreement and a convention on the elimination of double taxation on taxes on income and the prevention of tax evasion. The minister asserted the importance of the two agreements in developing economic, commercial and investment relations and their role in bolstering cooperation. In the presence of the chairperson of the founder of Royal Life Saving Bahrain, Her Highness Sheikh Anayla bint Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Minister of Sustainable Development and the CEO of the Economic Development Board, Noor Al Khalif, and the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, the EDB organized in cooperation with Georgetown University a panel discussion entitled Innovation in Trade, the Digital Impact of Digital Laws and New Technologies. So the United States Embassy is honored to be helping Georgetown Law uh, organize this conference on law and uh, emerging technologies and the digital environment. This is actually something that the U.S. government is deeply involved in. So uh, you're probably aware that Bahrain and the United States signed a new security agreement. Uh, His Royal Highness came to the United States. We signed it last September. And one of the elements of it is working on emerging technologies and trusted networks. So this is a priority not just for the United States government, but also, of, of course, for the Bahraini government. We're doing a lot of work together in this area in cybersecurity and trying to incorporate items like artificial intelligence and machine learning into economic processes. Now, as far as the legal environment goes, of course, Bahrain has a very strong commercial legal environment and I think as things develop in the technology realm it will be very useful for Bahrain once again to be a leader in establishing uh, commercial law as it relates to uh, technology. So the technology is going to shape how countries should think about law and regulation going forward. I think there, that there is already quite a bit happening and we just heard from the last panel too about some of the laws that are in place here in Bahrain. Um, and I think though that we've also heard about some ideas on what the future might look like, again, both at the domestic level and potentially regionally as well. A bit of brief introduction into the European regulation of the digital markets and digital services. You may know that back in 2022, the Europe, uh, European Parliament and the Council has adopted two major regulations. One is on the regulation of digital markets, one is uh, on the digi uh, regulation of digital services. And effectively, last year in September, uh, the European Commission has appointed or designated six major players in the digital space. Space in, the, in the space of digital platforms. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the Third Antalya Diplomatic Forum held under the patronage of the President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. 
Dr. Sheikh Abdullah affirmed the firm position of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King in supporting the legitimate historical rights of the brotherly Palestinian people and establishing a just and lasting peace in the Middle East region. He affirmed Bahrain's support for the right of the Palestinians to establish their independent, sovereign state on the borders of June 4, 1967 with East Jerusalem as its capital on the basis of the two-state solution in accordance with the international law and the Arab Peace Initiative as well as the relevant UN resolutions. He affirmed Bahrain's aspiration to establish effective and balanced international relations on the foundations of trust, understanding and mutual respect, and spreading the values of peace and peaceful coexistence, and giving priority to diplomacy and dialogue in finding comprehensive and sustainable solutions to wars and conflicts for the sake of a stable and prosperous world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates of Palestine, Dr. Riyadh al-Maliki, expressed thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain for its firm political positions and strong support of the rights of Palestinian people to freedom and the establishment of their independent state in all international forums. The eruption of any conflict or war is due to the failure of diplomacy. And at the end of every war or conflict, there would be diplomacy required. And I believe country-led diplomacy is always the way forward. And in times of conflict, it would be impossible for any country to be involved in any efforts of mediation or reconciliation if it imposes unilateral measures against any party in that conflict. The Kingdom of Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad, has always been a constructive partner, has always been an advocate for peaceful coexistence. And we believe that achieving peace will never be through isolation, extremism, or aggression, but rather through communication, dialogue, and peaceful means. And this is what we'll, we will continue to advocate for in the Kingdom of Bahrain. If it is business as usual, then, for the most part, uh, for Arab countries, Hassan Zaki, Assistant Secretary General of it the It is not League business as usual, Ada, if I may. Sorry to interrupt. Don't misunderstand me. It is not business as usual. We will continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Palestinians in support. The foreign minister of Bahrain was the first foreign minister to go and visit President Mahmoud Abbas in Ramallah on October 29th. Having an open channel of communication is more important in times of war and conflict than in times of, of peace and friendship. So we continue to support the Palestinians as we have always been and will continue to do so. All the Arabs, all the Arabs, including the countries who have really normalized relations with Israel, never stopped supporting the right of the Palestinians to self-determination, to independence, and they have lended us all the political support that we, we need. And what Sheikh Abdullah has said right now is exactly that. Uh, Kingdom of Bahrain has been a strong supporter of the right of the Palestinians and uh, His Majesty the King and the government has been always keen to demonstrate that in all occasions.